Hey, what is up? My name is Rubidium. Today we're looking at the C200 accessories uh, made by a company called Shape. So this is a new uh, sort of video format for me, the um, tabletop. Uh, I tried a whole bunch of different lighting and uh, blocking scenarios and uh, after lots of trial and error, this one uh, is working the best. So hopefully if uh, people like it and it works okay, I'll do um, a bunch more of these. Shape is a company based out of Montreal that makes very high-end camera accessories. It, their system starts out with a camera cage um, like this one. Now the advantage of a camera cage, it, your, your camera fits inside of it. Um, it attaches at two points at the bottom, two points at the top, so four screws. And it has these braces on the side um, that come up and essentially take the stress off the body of the camera. So uh, without these, if you were to attach this camera to a tripod and you would attach something very heavy to the top um, or, or rail mounts to the bottom, when you pick this camera up, that torque um, is going through the body of the camera, putting stress on it, putting stress on the screws, putting stress on the attachments. With a cage like this one, any force put on the top or bottom of the camera is redistributed from the top to the bottom or the bottom to the top through these side arms. Another advantage is it gives you all these uh, great mounting points uh, on either side. It protects the camera um, from falling. It means that uh, this or this edge will hit first. Um, the 5D that I'm shooting this on, I've had for a couple of years and I've had so many different tripod plates and accessories attached to it that the bottom is really scuffed up and the thread is pretty worn in the camera body itself. The advantage of a cage is you can put it on when you get the camera um, and then all the tripod accessories and handle accessories go into the um, the cage and you may scratch the paint or you may wear it off but the the camera itself underneath stays more or less pristine because it only has the four screws that go into it once and stay into it so that when it comes time to sell your camera um, your resale value will be a lot higher. The next part of the uh, shape system is this beautiful um, wooden inlaid handle uh, with an extendable um, extendable hand grip that slides in and out um, and it attaches with two screws at any point to the top of the camera itself, which I'm gonna do now. It's a nice looking handle. It basically means that the um, camera is now center weighted and you can put your um, hand over the top of the um, weight of the camera. You can move this around on the top plate. Um, you can invert it like I'll do later so that you can use this extension plate as a way to uh, reposition an eyepiece. This handle has this very unique um, locking system that Shape have developed that get around the um, infernal problem of putting mounting something on the side or on the top of the camera only to rotate it and have it undo itself. Um, and to do that, I'll talk about this um, Shape's uh, push button mount system with both this small uh, two axis mount and their larger four axis mount. So the difference between this and a traditional um, friction arm is that to loosen any, to adjust any of the single joints on the friction arm, I release the main crank and then everything, everything sort of becomes easy. So if I want to, if I want to just move the, uh, a monitor attached to this backwards or forwards, I have to release the whole thing, take, uh, release the whole the friction on the whole arm, take the weight and then um, re-tighten it. The advantage of shapes, um, um, system is that each axis is has its own push button for adjustment. So um, you push that button and then you adjust that. You push the button and you adjust that. You push the button and adjust that. So that um, each individual axis can be adjusted without having to take weight off the arm to do so. 
So they have, there's a four axis version and a two axis version um, that I have mounted on the front of this um, handle and I have the quick release plate. So I'll show you how that works with the monitor. So here's my Blackmagic um, video, seven inch video assist. Slides on, clicks in. Un uh, unlike the Manfrotto ball head or the um, friction arm that I had before, if I just wanna move it side to side, I push one button and I can reposition it. Or if I want to slide it up and down, I push one button and I can reposition it. You can hear um, on the mic the increments of adjustment and it can be put in any position and then be solid in that position. Both these arms um, and a lot of the other shape accessories have an advantage of having um, a single, uh, a triple point of contact to the camera cage or body. And it's, it's quite clever. Um, it means that you can mount accessories to the side without having the weight of the monitor pull them free or unscrew them. And the way they do that is they have one main screw and then either side they have a tiny little screw that fits into a tiny little hole um, on the body. My impression of these accessories is that they're very well made. Um, they're very intelligently designed. They fit together and they work together very well. I hadn't felt that I needed anything for the C200. I had a couple of small cheap cheese plates that I'd fitted the camera with. Um, but very quickly I sort of found that um, it limits how, how fast you can move, what strains that you can put on the camera. Um, what accessories you can put on the camera and how versatile it is. And when I upgraded to the shape system, um, things got a lot quicker and I felt more confident, for instance, picking up the camera with a large lens and a rail system and the tripod all from one handle. Um, when I had a cheap $25 um, Amazon handle on the top, I really used to have to take the weight um, on both hands and I'd try and keep um, from putting too much stress on the camera. All in all, it's been a good step forward for me and the, the, my C200 setup and let me do a lot more things.